Hi, I'm Diane, or you can call me Di Nanny. Today I'm going to show you on Seems Easy how to make this little bandana dress. Look at that, isn't that adorable? All it takes is one purchased bandana and a purchased knit top. And you can make them for almost any size little girl. I mean, the bandana has to be able to fit around the middle. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make this. It'll probably take you 30 minutes. Maybe a little longer if you're new to sewing, but if you know how to sew, this is going to be nothing for you. I'll show you everything you need and how to do it all. Seems easy. It is. To make the bandana dress, you're going to need a knit top, any size for a child, uh, pins, scissors, a bandana. I actually got this bandana for two dollars at Walmart. You're going to need uh, something to measure with. I have a tape measure here. And then you're going to need to download this template which you can get in the description of the video. So just click the down arrow at the lower left of the video and you'll see the description and you can click on a link and, and download this. It's just one sheet and when you print it out just print it full size and this inch has to equal one inch for the dimensions to be correct. And for something, for one so little you may, you may want to make it an empire style bandana dress. So you want to make sure I'm going to cut this around here, which is about two inches down from the seam under the arm. And you want to make sure that you cut it the same spot on, you know, straight, you're going to cut it straight across. So this is going to be about two inches down and I'm allowing half an inch for my seam. Okay. Now make sure that this is lying flat and you want to measure straight across. Okay. So that one is 10 inches. It, you're only measuring across one side. So you want to find where we have 10 inches on, on this pattern or the template. Now there's nine and a half and eleven and a half. So I'm going to cut a little beyond the nine and a half but not quite to the middle. And you want to take your bandana and you want to fold it into fourths. I have pressed my bandana. I've folded it into fourths. Okay. Here's the middle of the bandana. So this is a double fold and you've got four layers right there. Okay, I'll take my cutout template where I cut it just a little bit beyond where it said nine and a half because I'm using ten, uh, I have a ten inch wide top. So put it right in the corner and pin that there. We're just going to cut this out. You're cutting a circle right out of the middle of the bandana. Right. Now if you do embroidery or something, you have a little circle here. 
And it might be cute to take this and make a little heart to put right up there on the front of the dress. But it's cute even without that. So since I pressed this, the quarters are easy to see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to put the pin in on each one of these. I call them compass points, north, south, east, and west. Now, be careful. You see this, this stamp here. You don't want that right in the very front. You want that in the back. So we're going to put that in the very back. Okay. Now to prepare the little top, we're going to mark north, south, east, and west on, on the bottom edge of this little top. the same way at every quarter with a pin. Now, I'm, I'm marking the side seams. They're easy to see. Now to get the middle front and the middle back, match these side seams up and fold that edge flat and then put in a pin at the fold. And that'll be the center front and the center back. Okay. Now, all right, so this is the front. Now, there are two different ways to put the bandana skirt onto the bodice here. You can either have two points in the front, like this, or you can have it so that there will be one point in the front. So the way I have my, my compass points pinned, it's to attach it the other way. But I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in pins so that I can have one point coming down straight in the front. And to do that, you just fold it so that these pins are matching and then put pins in at the folds. Now if you want two points in the front, you can just use it exactly the way we originally pinned it. Okay, see what I'm doing here? I'm refolding this. Now I have, and I'm using a different color pen to mark my alternate pen points. Okay, now you see there's the, the, the writing. Now be sure, if you can read the writing, and it's not backwards, if you can read it, then the bandana is right side up. We want it right side up right now. Okay, I'm going to take these original pins out. Now, now I have north, south, east, west. And my little top here has, a, has north, south, and east, and west marked on it. Now this is the out. We have it right side out. You see the tag there. Now, Lay the little top down with the bottom edge, even with your east and west pins, just like so. Okay. Now, fold the bandana, this raw edge here, up to the bottom of your little bodice, and then match those two pins. These are the south pins and then pin the bodice to the bandana just like that. All right. Now, 
Now we're going to flip it this way. And we're going to fold the back of the skirt up to meet the back of the bodice, matching those two pins, the north pins, and then pin those two together. Now you can pick the whole thing up and match the other two sets of pins, your east and west. Now one bandana makes a very cute little dress, and you'll see, but if you'd like to use two bandanas, or you'd like to use fabric and make a circular skirt, or a, a, your own bandana, I give you directions how to do that if you, if you purchase the pattern. Now you don't have to purchase anything to be able to make this dress. I'm going to give you the template for free, and you can do exactly what I'm doing. It won't cost you a thing. But if you are interested in learning how to use two bandanas or learn to make a circle skirt and attach it to a purchased little knit top, then you can learn how to do that. I'll link you to my Etsy store, Dynanny, and you can, it's very inexpensive, only $2.88. And I've made these and they are so popular especially this mini mouse. Now, if you don't want to make one at all and you just like to buy this 18 month, I will have this for sale at my Etsy store. It won't last long. So you can check the link. All right, we have our little skirt ready to sew onto the bodice, and I will meet you at the sewing machine. We're just going to sew a half inch seam all the way around, taking the pins out as we go. To, um, stitch the seam toward the bodice. I'm going to just do top stitching. I'm doing it from the back. I'm going to stitch about a quarter of an inch from the original stitching so that this stays in place folded toward the bodice. I'm just going to do that all the way around. This is optional. You don't have to do it, but I'm just going to show you how to if you'd like. Did you ever imagine you could make such a cute little dress in such a short amount of time? Seems easy, doesn't it? It is easy. Now you go make one and leave a comment to let me know how yours turned out. Your little girl or the little girl in your life is going to love it, I guarantee it. Please share this video, like and subscribe so you'll be sure to get our future videos. Thank you very much.